Hi, I'm Dr. Kurt Wohler. The thyroid gland is an important gland in the body with respects to metabolism. It really helps with energy production throughout the body, whether it's our immune system, our cardiovascular system, including our heart, our lungs, our bones, our gut, our brain specifically. And without good thyroid output, we tend to run deficits in energy production. Now, in many kids on the autism spectrum, we know that there are underlying medical problems which contribute to many of their issues. We know that research points to the fact that there are methylation chemistry problems which can affect attention and focusing. We know that there are mitochondrial imbalances which can influence negatively metabolism throughout the body and energy production as well. We know that there can be immune system imbalances, digestive problems, etc. One of the things that doesn't get a lot of attention is thyroid imbalances. Um, and the thyroid is often either not assessed or underassessed with respect to autism. Now, in patients with various mental health problems, um, you know, depression, bipolar, etc., many times thyroid dysfunction is a contributing factor. And often optimizing thyroid function helps to really improve the overall mental status and health status of patients. So I want you to be aware of the importance of thyroid function in autism um, as something to just assess for your child's overall health. So if you're going to be doing a blood chemistry test or any type of blood testing for your child, make sure that your doctor includes a, a thyroid panel. And specifically what you want to look at is what's called TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone, free T4, okay, and free T3. Now these are important because the free fraction of those hormones, specifically the free T3, is what is acting physiologically at the cellular level. <clears throat> you can also add what's called a reverse T3. And if the body is producing rever a lot of reverse T3, it will actually inhibit thyroid function as well. And often that goes missed. So TSH, free T4, and free T3. Now personally, I like to see the free T4 and the free T3 in the upper two-thirds of normal, in the, in the upper two-thirds of normal within its reference range. Often if, if they're low, many times I'll use natural thyroid such as Westroid or, or Armour Thyroid, etc., um, to try to replenish thyroid function. It's not, not something necessarily we'll do forever, but you know, sometimes six months to a year just to see if we can reestablish thyroid function. Uh, and oftentimes it helps with energy and brain function and cognitive function and attention and even growth. So again, the thyroid is something to, important to assess. And I recommend that any parent who's having their child be assessed by a physician with respects to blood work to make sure you include a thyroid panel, the TSH, the free T4, and the free T3. A couple other things that you can also add to that panel too to rule out that an autoimmune process uh, may be occurring is something called anti-TPO and anti-thyroglobulin antibodies. If there are antibodies being produced to the thyroid gland, then that indicates that there's some type of autoimmune process that is likely you know, affecting the thyroid adversely. Okay, So that would be really a complete thyroid panel. But minimally, the TSH, the free T3, and the free T4 are critically important to look at. Thanks.